Well, hello, my YouTube family. It is Tuesday, March 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day for those of you who celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I, on the other hand, do not. And I am wearing all black to prove so. So there you go. And so we are doing lips of the day. This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. And thankfully, it popped up because I completely forgot it. Now, here's the bad part about it. Um, I don't think you can get it anymore. It's an old Sephora glossy lipstick and it's called, what is it called? Insolent Brownie. It's one of these. It was one of the um, Lip Attitude Star lipsticks, the glossy lipsticks, and this is what it looks like. Oh, how I love this lipstick so. And this is a swatch of it. It looks like it's glittery, and I suppose in a way it is sort of, kind of, and you really can sort of see it on my lips, but it's not too bam in your face. And I saw this lipstick. I can distinctly remember when I bought this lipstick. Saw it. Had to have it. And unfortunately, I don't think Sephora sells this one anymore. I'm sure Sephora sells a, 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 a color that looks pretty much exactly the same, but it's not called Insolent Brownie anymore. You know how they change things up, but yet they still think keep things the same. So it's a, it's a chocolate. It's a chocolate uh, color. It's a chocolate shade, but it's got shimmers in it of silver. There's even slight blue, slight blue gold. Oh, it, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely adore, adore this lipstick. I almost forgot that I had it. If it wasn't for me just searching around last night, looking for a lipstick to go with, you know, the look, I, I completely would have forgotten it. So, oh, and I lined it with, uh, what is this, Bonnie Bell. So getting all scratched up, I can't even read it anymore. Bonnie Bell Lip Definer in Fudge, lined. So, and it's a perfect match. So there you have it. Here's the, here it is again, if you want to take a look and maybe try to find a lipstick. If you like this one very much. And you want to try to find a lipstick that looks like it. I'm sure Sephora has a lipstick or even a lip gloss that looks just like this. But, you know, I keep telling you my stuff is old. I've been saying that from the get-go. Okay, people. So I really have no stories for you. I have nothing for you. I have, you know, I don't want to keep talking about the whole highlighter thing. Although I did use this. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie as the highlight. It's my little highlight here and my little highlight here. I'm still like a kid, people. This is the uh, Carnival in Rio. Carnival in Rio. And you know, this is what it looks like. So here we go again with the light. I'm sorry, people. Hold on. Let me turn off my fan because it's the fan that's blowing. The, the thing, hold on, people. Hold on, hold on. Good Lord, have mercy. All right. Sorry about that. I am so sorry. Y'all saw my fat ass again. Okay, well, it is what it is, people. It is what it is. I am who I am, and it is what it is. So there you have it. Okay. So that is that with that upon that. Hair's in a ponytail today because this morning it was raining. Okay, but now the sun is out. The sky is blue. It's beautiful. But damn, is it windy as hell outside. So I think the temperature is going to drop again tonight into tomorrow. So spring is fighting to get here, but winter is stubborn as hell. So that's that with that upon that. Uh, did anybody watch the following last night? That show is sick. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's twisted. It's twisted beyond twisted. I thought last week's episode was twisted. 
this this episode, you know, oh man, they had guys hanging on a cross on, on the side. Oh, Lord, this show, you have to have a strong stomach, for real. And if it was on HBO, you can just only imagine how much further that they could go with, with the following. But you know I love me some following, honey. And is anybody watching Better Call Saul? I love that show. I love that show. I love it more because of Breaking Bad. I love the show. I love I love Saul. He is a good guy. He's a really good guy. But he just, you know, he try to cut corners all the time. And he's trying to always look for the quick, quick, you know, the quick scheme. He's always, he sometimes does bad things for good reasons. Or he sometimes does good things for bad reasons. It's, but I love him. I love him and I love Mike. If people saw Breaking Bad, then they'll know who I'm talking about when I say Mike. Um, yeah, we we get the backstory on Mike in in um, Better Call Saul. So, you know, you, if if you were always wondering why is Mike the way he is in Breaking Bad, if you watch Better Call Saul, you'll figure it out. Because Better Call Saul is before he met up with. Um, Walter and, um, oh, damn. How can I forget his name? Jesse. Thank you. Before he met Walter and Jesse, this is like Saul's backstory. So, yeah. But characters from Breaking Bad tend to sort of show up <laughs> in Better Call Saul. So it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. I like it. I like the show a lot. So that's it, people. Today is Tuesday. What? We got uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills tonight, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Brandy going to give me a heart attack again. I know she is. I just... I... <sighs> See, I'm already... All I had to do was just say her name and just think of her. And all of already, my blood pressure is rising. I don't know this chick from a hole in the wall personally. And I don't want to. <laughs> Lord only knows. So, okay, so that's that with that upon that. This is, I guess it's going to be really short to the point. I have no stories. They were working cutie like crazy. Yesterday was cutie, Mrs. Cutie's birthday. And he gave her a flower. And because I'm seeing all of this stuff. I mean, she is posting like crazy on Facebook. So I get to see everything he does. I see it because she's posting. And, you know, we're all friends. So, uh, yeah. And he took her out to dinner on Sunday night. He is a really good husband. I'm like, oh, I need me one of those. But he a youngin', you know. Well, Y'all already know the history. The, the, the history that he and I have, which we really don't. But at the same time, we sort of do. You know what I'm talking about. In any event, that's that with that upon that. Mr. Man over here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just as gorgeous as ever. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's all about you, Bubby. He doesn't want to be on camera tonight. Mm. Okay. I just this cat is the love of my life. He really is. I don't know if I would have room in my heart for a man. Because this cat has it all. He has it all. He drives me crazy sometimes. He pisses me off sometimes. Just like a man. But he's a cat. And I'll forgive him ten times faster than if it were a man pissing me off. You know what I mean? Because he's a cat. And he 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 tends to do the big wide eyes thing. Maybe he he's seen Puss in Boots <laughs> when he was at North Shore. Maybe they, you know, they... they Gave him movies, movie night cats or something. And he practiced up on the whole puss in boots with the big eyes. He does that. And just gets me every single time. I know. He must think, damn, mom is a sucker. All I have to do is just give her the big wide eyes. And I forgive him the world. I can't help it. Anyway, this is it. This is me. Um, Yeah. This is it. This is me. I'm I'm sort of changing things up. Like, okay. Uh, oh, I put it back. But uh, 
Tomorrow, I'm going to start using this, my e.l.f. High definition powder as my under eye powder after I do my concealer. I don't know. I just felt like changing it up. I'm I normally use the Cody, uh, the Cody transparent loose powder. You know that big, the big Cody, you know Cody powder, that old fashioned powder. Yeah. Well, I'm I've been using it and using it. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere, and I want to use up my Elf high definition powder. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just like changing things up. Normally, I used to wait until I wait until spring. I said the first day of spring. Day. No, I, I got stuff. I want to change things up. Why don't I just do what I want to do? I get so regimented sometimes. I get so rigid with myself. I don't even know, understand why I'm rigid with myself. Like, Nancy, if you don't want to use the NARS foundation today and you want to use the Becca foundation why aren't you using the Becca foundation? Well, because it's not the first day of spring and I, I'm using my foundation. I always change my foundations on the first day of the next season. Why? There's no rule or regulation that says that you have to do. You could change your foundation every damn day if you want to. So why don't I? I... <sighs> it's not like my parents were strict with me and I was, you know, it's my Catholic school upbringing, I think, is what the problem with me is. Catholic school upbringing, because, honey, if you went to a Catholic... I went to Catholic school from first grade to 12th. From first to eighth, you know, boys and girls, elementary school. Then from ninth to 12th, high school, all girls Catholic high school. Nuns, uniforms, the whole nine. So I can understand why I'm still very rigid and very... You have to do what you have to do and you have to stick with it. And and you would think in college, because I didn't go to a Catholic college. I went to Queens College, you know. That's why I let loose, honey. Okay. I'm not saying that I was a skank or anything like that. I was, no. But, um, yeah, no. Not like that. Not like that. But, you know, I let loose a little bit. I it's college. And I didn't go away to college. I went to Queens College. You know, take the bus, go to school, come back, and take the bus coming back home. Although I, that is my one regret in life. I really wish I had gone away to college. That's my only regret. But, hey, I still got an education, right? So, all of that to say that I am changing to my high definition powder for my under eye powder tomorrow. All of that just to say... I need to loosen up. That's what I'm going to do. And you know what? Tomorrow I may, you know what? I'm just going to, I may, I'll let you know what foundation I'm going to use tomorrow. I may use the Becca Radiant. I may use the other Becca Tinted Moisturizer one. I don't know. I'm, I, I just want to switch it up. Maybe I'm getting tired of NARS. I don't know. NARS hasn't done anything bad for me. I love me some NARS Sheer Glow, honey. Hello? It has been working for me. All of my foundations have been working for me. So what's the problem? There is no problem. I'm creating a problem where there is none. I'm going to change my foundation tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll say, you know what, I'll stick with my NARS. All over the place. But you know what, people? I had a good day today. I had a good day yesterday, and I had a good day today. I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm like in a good, I'm, 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 <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm in good vibes with the universe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm in good vibes with the universe. Let me just put it that way. Because if you, if any of you have watched The Secret, you could YouTube it because they have it for free on YouTube. It's like an hour and something, 25 minutes or an hour, 45 minutes long. I have the actual DVD. But if you watch The Secret, they always say the, 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 the secret to getting what you want out of life is to you know you have to ha you have to feel good inside and emit good vibes and just kind of be one with the universe and you can have whatever you want and basically there's there's one there's like one character like in the middle part of the DVD or the movie there's this one guy who says I always seem to get checks in the mail I get a few bills but I'm getting more checks than bills Friday, I got a check. Monday, I got a check. And today, I got a check. 
all refund checks, but I'm not, I, you know, it's not, it's like I'll overpay for something and maybe they'll send me an email stating, oh, you're going to get a refund. And then I, I read it and then I forget about it. It came today. They're not, it's not much money. It's like one, well, the, the, the last refund check was like $119. This refund check, $20 maybe, but it's still checks in the mail. I'm keep, I keep getting checks in the mail. So I'm like one with the universe. I'm feeling really good. And I'm liking, you know, I'm liking how I'm feeling. You know, I'm liking how I'm feeling. So maybe that lottery winning is not far behind. Who knows? And I'm not talking about, you know, I'm talking about the big end. I'm talking about the big end. The big one. The big one. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting $4 here, $5 here. Hey, maybe I got to work it up. Maybe the next one will be $50. Maybe the one after that will be $100. And then so on and so forth. I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling good. So I really shouldn't restrict myself. Damn it. I am going to use my definition powder tomorrow. And that's just that with that upon that. And maybe I'll use a Becca. Whichever Becca one I want to use, I'll use it. So there you go, people. I'm just feeling good today. And it's not even Friday. It's only Tuesday. But I'm feeling good. I, I want to remain in this good spirit, in this good vibe. I just I just want to stay there. I just want to stay there. Because, you know, the universe works with you. It really does. It works with you. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch The Secret. Because it's not a cult thing. You can take from it whatever you want. If you don't want to take anything, then, you know, just forget about it. But it has worked for me in the past. It has worked for me. And when I sit and really think about how it's worked for me in the past, it really has. It really has worked. It really has. It really has. You just got to be kind of still with yourself. Get that. You can't just think good thoughts and not feel good. Anybody can think good thoughts. Oh, I'm going to think good thoughts. Good thoughts. Good thoughts. But if you're not in... in in the vibe, in the, in the, if you, if you're not feeling the thought and just thinking it, but you still hating on somebody or things are just not working out the way you want them to. And you're, you're going to say, well, I'm going to think good thoughts. I'm going to think, no, it's not going to work that way. You have to actually feel good. That's enough preaching for me. Y'all just either read the book. It's by Rhonda Byrne or see the movie. Or buy the DVD. I have the DVD and I have the audio DVDs. So when I really am feeling myself going off kilter, all I do is put a DVD on while I'm driving to work and I'll listen to the words and, you know, get still and really let the words wash over me and try to realign myself with the universe again. And it works. It works. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it works. Even though sometimes I'll come home and I'm tense as hell, that's sometimes when I'm veering off a little bit. But I come home, I have to, you know, I have to decompress, detox, be still. When I'm like upset, when I come home upset and I'm ranting, I'm off. I'm off kilter. But you can't talk to me right then. You can't, you can't say, well, Nancy, just think about the universe. No, no, no. Let me get it out of my system. Because it's like a poison. You know, when you're angry, it's like a poison. You got to get it out of your system, release it. And then even though it take, it may take me a day, it really may. It may take me a day to realign myself. I eventually get back there. So I want to stay there. But, you know, life throws, throws you what it throws you. But if you can do your best to live the best life that you can, it'll all work out for you in the end. Trust and believe. And not... You can buy X amount of makeups. It's really not going to fulfill you as much as you fulfilling yourself. Oh, makeup helps. Don't, don't get it twisted. If makeup makes you happy, keep it going. But it's not going to fill you. It'll be a temporary high, but eventually the high goes away and then you want to buy something else. You want to buy something else. You want to buy something else. Lately, I'm just... I'm shopping my stash people and occasionally yeah you'll see me come up with an amazon order or two but 
I haven't visited a Walgreens in a while. I haven't visited a, a Dwayne Reed in a while. I haven't visited a Rite Aid in a while. And I'm not wanting to right now. I'm not going to say that it's going to last or no buy is going to last all the way until July. We know that never really works. But for now, I'm pretty content with, you know, learning how to do highlights and stuff like that. And, you know, and shopping my own stash, changing up <laughs> concealer powders, you know, just having fun with what I've got. And I'm enjoying myself. So there you go. I, I, I know I veered off. I've, I just really veered off. But I hope you kind of picked something up from what I said. Oh, damn, that wind is kicking. Do y'all hear that? I don't know if you can, but wow. The wind is picking up. Okay, so that's it. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I have to say. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. I really wish I could give you a dupe for this lipstick. I, I'm, I am at a loss. I'm at a loss, but trust and believe I know that Sephora may have a dupe for this. If, if you're looking for one, it's a, it's, it's insolent brownie. That's what it was called back in the day. Insolent brownie. And I really wish I had a dupe for it. I think I have a lip gloss dupe for it. It's a Dior Addict, and it's called Lorex. Oh, God. Hold on, people. Hold on. Oh, it's right there, too. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is it. This is the dupe. Hold on. Before I go, let's do a test. Let's do a test. Okay, that's the lipstick. And this is Dior Addict. What's it called? Dior Addict Ultra Gloss Reflect 877. Hold on, people. I just may. I just. <laughs> do I know my stuff or do I know my stuff? I found the dupe for you. This is the this is the lipstick. This is the Dior Addict. Ta-ta! I found the dupe for you people. You, I mean, I found the dupe. Don't even... Uh, it, uh, hmm. I found the dupe for you. It is Dior Addict. I don't know if y'all be able to see. You won't be able to see it. But it looks like this. Christian Dior. Very pricey. But if you, if you want it, there it is. Uh, it's called Dior Addict Ultra Gloss Reflect 877. So there you go. That's the dupe for insulin brownie. I feel a lot better now. I feel a lot better that I found the dupe for you. It's a pricey dupe, but trust and believe it's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, so now I'm going. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.